All right, all right, all right. Now, I'm making this video for one purpose only. I have been reading a lot of comments on a lot of the um, Eagle Pages websites. And some of you all are already downing Carson Wentz. Y'all down the coaches. And you down the whole team. Let's get one thing straight right quick. Yeah, we're missing players on both sides of the ball. Some hurt, some injured, some suspended. Nothing we can do about that. We don't get paid that kind of money, so y'all need to stop complaining right quick. Chill out with the um with the bad complaints. Let's not forget Carson Wentz is a rookie. He gonna make rookie mistakes between now and the end of the year. Now, some of you all are, are, are already talking about um, Carson Wentz not going touchdowns. Y'all dissing the coaches about saying that he's not calling the correct plays. Let's not forget, Coach Doug Peterson's a rookie coach like Carson Wentz. You got two rookie players. I'm sorry, a rookie player and a rookie coach on the sidelines. Give them some chance, y'all. Give them a time to mature and grow together. If y'all continue to disrespect both teams, and or better yet, both both being the players, the players or the player and the coach, y'all not as good or y'all not as solid Eagle fans that I thought y'all were. So, like I said before, y'all need to stop it, chill out with it, because um, this is just we, we just three and two, y'all, y'all y'all making it think like we um one and four or zero and five. Now, I understand if we were zero and five, but then at that time, zero and five really don't mean anything because you gotta think about it. This is a whole new different type of offense. There's a whole new different type of coaching staff coming in. And there's a whole new different quarterback playing for the Philadelphia Eagles. You know what I'm saying? So y'all gotta look at all the glues. Don't look at all the myth takes. Look at all the glues. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it. We won in week two. We did real well offensively, defensively, and special teams. All the right people being called. So if you're going to blame somebody, blame yourself. Because it really don't make no sense for us all to be talking bad and dissing the team like that. Me, I'm 37 years Philadelphia Eagles. One club, one team, one organization. I'll say the many, many times before. And some of you all or so-called true Eagle fans, y'all need to chill out. Sit back and think. Calm down. Or better yet, get yourself a beer or a cold drink or a big-ass bag of ice and just chill out, cool out, and mellow out. Because it's just a game, y'all. Just a game. Come on, people. Um, root for your boys. E-A-G-L-E-S. Eagles. That's what it's all about. It ain't all about the, the player making mistakes or the coaching calling bad plays. It ain't about all that. It's all about the support given to our team. And if y'all can't support the team, you ain't supporting the organization. But yeah, you're not supporting your fan club. You're not supporting yourself. And most importantly, you're not supporting your well trained of thought. So lay back and analyze. Or better yet, Get in the mirror like Michael Jackson because we got a horrible man or woman in the mirror dissing the Philadelphia Eagles or because they lost two games back to back. It's a whole cornucopia of football we got to play. So stop dissing the team. Stop talking bad about the team. Let it be, y'all. Okay? Um, like I said, 37 years, one team, one club, one organization. E A G L E S Eagles. Yeah, I'm upset about the um the game we lost, but nothing we can do about that because we don't get paid for it. Holler at your boy.